You are watching Christ's Commission Fellowship. Changing lives for eternity. My name is Aika Dare. I grew up in a religious family. Even though we, could reg we would regularly attend church every Sunday, our lives did not reflect a relationship with Christ. Back then, our family had problems. My dad was unemployed, addicted to drugs, and gambling. Because of this, we lived miserably. But God, in His goodness and grace, moved in our life when my dad received Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. We saw how he repented from his sins and pursued a life that would glorify God, which eventually led our family to Christ. My dad's passion and heart for service encouraged me in my spiritual walk. Whenever we would encounter trials as a family, he became my constant reminder that God will never leave nor forsake us. In February 2016, I was diagnosed with acute myelogenous leukemia, a type of cancer in the blood. When I heard the diagnosis from my doctor, I was devastated, but it was my dad's trust in God that reassured me. At the hospital, my dad would always wake me up early to have our daily devotion. We would sing songs to God even though I felt weak. He showed me what it meant to trust in God. After months of confinement, my health did not improve. I had more infections and complications to the point that my doctor told my family in secret that I only have about a month to live. As my health deteriorated, hardship came in my family, in my life, when my boyfriend of five years died in a car accident. When I heard about it, I was very devastated and broken into pieces. Seven mo months after John's death, when it seemed that things can't go any worse, we learned that my dad also had cancer. It was worrisome to know that it is now the both of us who need to be taken care of. I worried about how we are going to make ends meet and where will we get the money for both of our treatments. But more than that, he was my source of strength and seeing him suffer as he fought for his life was more difficult. I thought of giving up. But my dad reassured me once again that God is with us. After two months of battling cancer, he passed away. It was by God's grace that I was able to respond well when I heard about my dad's death. Despite the series of heart-wrenching loss, I remembered being grateful to the Lord for allowing me to experience all of that in a span of one year. It was through trying and life-changing times that I felt His presence overflow in my life and learned to depend on Him. I also knew, as my dad would teach me, that eventually God will use these things in my life so people will be led to Christ. It was in January 2017 that I started attending CCF. The Lord ministered to me when I heard the wife of Pastor Ricky Sardu, Miss Aggie, share her life experience with battling cancer. After that, I decided to regularly attend and join a small group. It was in that community that I was able to share my life story with others hoping that through it, they will find encouragement and hope and vice versa. I too was blessed having a second family who intentionally prays for me. And that is one of the many blessings of having a D group. I was also blessed when my life story was featured in MMK. When they showed the episode, thousands of people started to message me. I took advantage of that and shared Christ to them, hoping that in their trials, they will also seek the Lord. And by God's grace and goodness, I am now almost three years in remission. I am thankful to God that He used my life as a platform so people can find hope and encouragement even in the most difficult situation. To God be all the glory. Ilan sa inyo gusto nyong magkaroon ng isang mapayapang buhay? Can I see your hands? Praise God. Praise God. Yan. Yung, yung buhay na parang walang inaalala. Yan. Ang sarap ng ganong buhay, di ba? At ilan sa inyo yung pakiramdam? Gusto nyong mag, ano yung mayaman ng dating ninyo sa buhay? Tinakuha? 
Oh, ayaw nyo? Alam nyo, pag mayaman, walang inaalala. It's not about having money. People may have money, but they're not rich because they're always worried in life. And you know what? God wants us to experience a life full of peace, a life as in free of worry. Yan ang pangarap, ng, yan ang gusto ng Diyos na maranasan natin. And yan po ang ating aaralin ngayon. O, tingnan natin. Debut. No one, di ba naalala niyo yung message last week? Ano yung message last week? Serve God. Now, tingnan niyo. No one can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other. So the idea is not just serving. The idea is loving. Okay ba yan? Now, sabi niya, or he will be devoted to one. Tingnan niyo yung klaseng, ano, yung, ano, yung div, ano, love, devoted. And despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. That is the idea. Now, sabi ng Lord, if you treasure me, if you serve me, and siyempre ang idea ang aisip ng tao, paano na ang pabuhay namin? Pwede ba magsilbi sa Diyos at the same time? Paano yung, paano may pamilya ako? Paano si papakainin? Paano, ibig sabihin, hindi na kayo magtatrabaho? Oh, teka, sa tala, hindi naman sinabing ganun eh. Kaya marami tayong iniisip, if we serve God, ang daming igaming i-give up. So, paano na? Now, listen. Kasi sabi ng Bible, Therefore, look at this. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life. What you will eat or about your body, what you will wear, is not life more than food and the body more than clothing. Ano si sabi ni Jesus? Listen to this. If I am your master and you will serve me, then you should not worry. Yun ang sabi ng Diyos. Do not worry. Worry. So, bakit ganun? Kasi ang worry is about control. Alam mo na yung tao, kapag ikaw yung nagko-control, ikaw yung master ng buhay mo, or seemingly the master you have is someone who is not permanent, someone who is not eternal, like wealth, hindi, hindi mo maaasahan yan. Obviously, you will all the more worry. Tama ba? Kaya nga, pag the sense mo na parang wala kang control, Nagwo-worry ka na. Ba't wala pa yung mga bata? Nasaan sila? Nasaan sila? Parang, an, an, parang wala kang control kaya nagwo-worry ka. Tama? Kaya ang taong nagwo-worry is playing God. He is playing as if siya yung Diyos trying to control. Sabi ng Lord, but if I am your master, therefore, sabi niya kaya, therefore yan eh, do not worry. Huwag kang mag-worry. Kaya sabi ng Bible, at hindi lang yun, ang ganda, Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow, reap, or they gather nothing in barns. Mamaya ko papaliwanag yan, kabinibisan ko lang. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more important than they? Ano siya sabi ng Lord? This is the basic idea. Do not worry. Your heavenly Father will take care of you. Ito ang idea. The moment na mali yung naisip natin, the moment na mali, obviously, wrong thinking will lead to worry. Kaya, do not worry, think godly. Now, you focus on God. You focus on God. Kaya, godly. Remember the word, think. Think. This represents four action words. Yung worry, hindi sabihin we're passive. We should be active. You should be in action. Ano yan? A compound verb, take heed. Take heed. Do not internalize. Letter N, negate. And no. Okay, remember those words. So yung apat na yan, huwag mong kakalimutan when it comes to, when you are being worried, just remember this. If God is my master, then I have to think. Ang problema ng worry, nag-iisip, na, na, hindi nag-iisip ng tama. Ulitin ko ha, kapag ang tao, yung word na anxious, ibig sabihin niyan, divided minds, ang daming iniisip, hati-hati, going to different directions. Kapag naman, Worry ang ginamit na word, ibig sabihin na nasasakal na siya. Hindi na siya makahinga. Hindi na siya makapag-isip. Okay? Kaya ang tao, kapag hindi nag-iisip, hindi nag-iisip, magwo-worry yan. Magwo-worry yan. Subukan natin. Tingnan ninyo. At dalawang bagay ang bagay na dapat mong maaalala kapag para hindi ka mag-worry. Kung may magagawa ka, hindi mo kailangan mag-worry. Tama mali. Kasi may magagawa ka naman, ba't ka pa magwa-worry? Ngayon, kung wala kang magagawa, huwag ka na rin mag-worry. Wala ka naman magagawa eh. So sa madaling salta, mag-isip ka ng maayos. Kaya sabi ng Bible, can you add life or span, your lifespan by worrying? 
Kaya kung nag-iisip ka, ano ka ba? Wala namang may dadagdag sa iyan. Kaya nga nagulat sila, nung aaral sila, yung worry, karamihan nun, only 8% ang legit na worry. Lahat hindi nangyayari, yung mga worries na wala namang mangyayari, tsaka yung bagay na hindi, wala ka na magagawa dahil nakaraan na, o bagay na future na hindi pa dumarating. Kaya mga if only, mga ganyan, or what if, ganyan. Kapag ganun ang isip natin, ay, hindi tayo nag-iisip. Ang dami nating dapat gawin ngayon, di yun ang gawin natin. So what should we do? If God is our master, the first thing that we need to do is take heed His commandments. Sundin mo yung tinuturo niya. Kasi kung talagang master mo siya, pakinggan mo siya. Bakit? Kasi itong master na to is not just an ordinary master. He created the heavens and the earth. If He created the heavens and the earth, He know exactly how the whole world operates. Kaya don't be surprised. So, pakisahin mo sa katabi mo, huwag kang, mag, mag, ano, huwag kang mabigla. Lahat tayo haharap sa problema. Walang taong exempted sa problema. Nagkakanilihan tayo. Don't ever fool yourself thinking that you are exempted from problem. Kaya ano dapat natin gawin? Sabi ng Bible, listen to this. Therefore, I tell you, look at the words, do not worry. Command yan. Take heed of His command. Do not worry. Sabi niya, so do not worry. Paulit ulit, do not worry. A negative command, do not worry. Bakit? Kasi we are all prone to worry. Lahat tayo, walang exemption. We are all prone to worry. Bakit? Kasi we're living in an imperfect world. We are living, we are imperfect people. We make wrong decisions in life. Kaya, we tend to worry. Sa buong bundo, Ang dami na nating kinawari. Hindi lang pera, hindi lang katawan, hindi anong winawari natin? Ngayon, magugulat kayo. Maiwan lang 'yung cellphone, nagwo-worry. Cellphone lang 'yun, as if mamamatay sila kung wala 'yung cellphone. As if cellphone ko, as if no good. Wala lang mag-like sa post. Pero ay pat iisa lang nag-like. Ni ba nanay mo pa? Bakit nag-lock ang nanay? Ibinlock ko na yan. <laughs> Pero mag-post lang, yung like lang na yan, nagwo-worry. Di ba? Kaya lagay mo na lang sa pangalan mo, instead na, no, lagay doon, nobody. Tapos maglagay doon, likes you. O, di ba? <laughs> Kasi totoo lang, iba, every day of the morning, every day they wake up, pag tingin sa cellphone, ay, walang nag-message. Nagwo-worry. Pag nakatanggap ng message, nagwo-worry din. Ay, magbayad ka na. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya, isipin mo, simple bagay lang ng message, nagwo-worry na. Noon, hindi naman natin iintindihan. Kahit sa trabaho, wino-worry lang lahat ng bagay. Kaya siya sabi ng Diyos, alam nyo, tuturoan kayo, sabi ng Lord, makinig kayo sa akin because I know better. Since I am your master, I'm not just a master, I am a master who loves you and cares for you. And I am, I know what's best for you. Kaya nga po ang Bible, amazing. Kasi, Ang Diyos, He knows the universal principles of living. Kaya kung talagang honest ka, sumunod ka lang dyan, wala kang talo. Parang yung law of gravity. Kahit hindi mo alam yan, pag, pag tumalong ka, malalaglag ka. And since our God is a very loving God, He warns us, do not worry. I'm telling you now, bakit? Hindi mabuti sa'yo. Kahit sa sakit, ang daming mararamdaman. Psychologically, mentally, emotionally. Grabe. In fact, even sa issue ng, ano, ng, tawag dito, ng concept ng, what do you call this, philosophical, affected ang brain. Bakit? Kasi, ang worry, hindi lang yan ordinaring takot. It affects the way we believe. Okay ba yun? Kapag ang master mo si God, ayaw niyang ikaw mag-worry. Oh, bakit? Tinan natin. Kaya sabi ng Bible, listen to this. Since our God is a very loving God, hindi niya tayo in hindi niya tayo parang, hindi niya tayo binibigla. Sabi niya, be on guard so that your hearts will not be weighed down, weighted down with dissipation, drunkenness, and the worries of life. And that they will not come on you suddenly like a trap. Ayaw ko kayo mabigla na para kayo na, na patibong. Sabi ganun, for it will come upon all those who dwell on the face of all the earth. Darating yan sa lahat. Sipi mo, paano hindi ka magwa-worry? Unang-una, katawan natin nagkakasakit. Sabi, darating yan. Kaya, mag- kaya maglalaglagan lahat. 
Pagtingin mo sa mata mo, dati, ang, ang gaganda na. Mami, naglalaglagan na lahat. Eh. Bakit bagsak ng mata ko? Talukap ng mata ko, laglag na rin. Di ba, parang anlungkot ang itsura ko. Bakit ganun? Kasi nga, kahit anong gawin mo, parang wala ka magagawa. We are in this kind of world. Degenerating world. But, does it mean wala tayong diktas? No! Since God commanded us, do not worry, sabi ng Lord, pakinggan mo. But keep on the alert at all times praying that you may have strength to escape all these things. So you can escape. Tama ba? Pwede mong takasan. O, sino gustong tumakas sa worry? Pwede mong takasan. Paano? Pray. Kaya nga, prior to teaching this, ang tinuro niyan tayo mag-pray. Mag-fast. Tama? Kaya sabi ng Bible, do not be anxious about anything. But in everything by prayer, let your request be made known unto God and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding, will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Now, pag-isipan nyo mabuti. Alam nyo bakit tayo worry na worry? Di tayo kasi nagpe-pray eh. Di tayo nagre-report sa master natin. We're not even asking our master about our lives. Alam nyo, kapag hindi natin sinusunod ang paraan ng Diyos, sisiguraduhin ko, mag-worry tayo palagi. How often do you report to your master? How often? Buti pa si Satan, araw-araw umakit eh. Eh tayo, sabi, o oh, yan, oh, hindi naman yan, naglilingkod lang yan, dahil pinagpapala mo eh. Eh kung nag-report ka na kay Lord, Lord, lead me not into temptation. Si Satan, di makaporma. Ah, sasabihin na, o oh, nagpapaalam ako Lord, I will sift him, sift him like wheat. Sabi niya, hindi pwede. Nag-pray yung anak ko. Sabi niya, do not lead me into temptation. Kaya sorry, hindi kita papayagan. Hindi ba? Hello? Ano pa tayo? Kaya you better pray. Ito, tinan nyo ha. Kaya sabi ng Lord, ito pa. Yung minsan, yung pananaw natin, sobrang abalang na tayo. Hindi na natin makita yung ginawa ng Diyos. Hindi natin ma-appreciate yung mga pinagagawa ng Diyos. Katuloy, worry tayo ng worry. Kaya sabi ng Lord, look at the birds in the sky. Tingnan mo yung ibo na yan. Di ba? They do not sow or reap. Na hindi marunong magtanim. Sabi niya, tingnan mo yung ibo na yan. Wala silang barns para mag-save. Pero, yung tatay mo, inaalagaan. Ano sabi? Tatay mo pinakakain yan. Ano ba bang winoworry mo, anak? Yung ibon, hindi nakakapagtanim, hindi nakakapag-ani. Ikaw, nilikha kitang pwedeng magtanim at mag-ani. Ba't ka nagwoworry? Gamitin mo kasi, kaya ka nagwoworry, hindi ka nagtatanim eh. O, sabi niya, Tinur- kaya mo mag-ipon. Ibon, hindi. Kaya mo mag-ipon. Hindi ka nag-iipon eh. Tingnan mo yung mga raming bata ngayon nagwo-worry, mag apply ng trabaho. Hindi nag-aaral eh. Tingnan nyo, sino sa mga sa eskwelahan, sino yung natakot na takot mag-exam? Mga hindi nag-aaral. Kasi doon sila nag-aaral habang nag-exam. Group study pa. Ano sagot mo? Sagot mo. <laughs> Kaya nagwo-worry. Pero kung ginagawa mo yung dapat mong gawin, yun ang sasabi ng Diyos dito. Kung ginagawa mo yung dapat mong gawin, hindi mo kailangan mag-worry. Kahit sa mga negosyo, listen to this, yung ibang mga negosyo nagbabagsakan because they thought, pag, pag pinag-pray yung negosyo, okay na. Hindi ah, you keep on learning, you keep on improving, you keep on doing what is necessary. Di ba? Minsan, maraming tao, magyari, kaya kanina may pinag-pray ako. Ang halimbawa, gusto, restaurant, pag-pray, pagpalain. Sabi ko, sa kanila, gusto yung mapagpala yung restaurant ninyo? Lahat yung pagkain na yan, masarap o hindi. Simple lang. Yung ako, gustong-gusto ko yung restaurant, pagpunta ko doon, yung mga, yung mga waiter, yung babasaya, yung parang nakakagaan ng loob na kahit na hirap na hirap ka, bigla sumasaya yung loob mo dahil yung mga waiter, nakipag, ano sila, magaan ng loob nila, sir, ano gusto po ninyo? Diba, sir, ito masarap, ito, ito. Yung nagsasuggest pa. Pero pag bumunta ka doon, kahit ang sarap ng pagkain na, ano, ano nyo? Ano pa? Oo, oh, oh, okay yan. Ano pa po? Parang tagal na tagal na sayo, Parang sa ko, wow! Diba? Tapos mag-iisip siya na, baka magsasara yung kumpanya namin. Paano hindi magsasara yung sungit-sungit mo? Diba? Yung iba naman, gwardiya, parang siga-siga. O, saan ko punta? Kakain ka ba dito? Ha? Ba- ha? Pumasok ka na? Diba? Parang, no way! Diba? Parang, wow! Siyempre, pero pag nakita ko, gwardiya pala, ang galang-galang, sir, magandang hapon po. Naku, napakasarap po sa loob. Pasok ko kayo. At habang nagbabantay ako dito para safe ang mga gamit ninyo. How does it feel? Nakuha ninyo? Kasi maraming tao, they're not doing their parts. Kaya, hindi sila para, para silang, para na silang naging ibo na talaga. Pero itong ibo, alam nyo pa? Oo, hindi nga sila nakapagtanin. Teka, 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 sandali, mara, brasabong. Sandali, hindi ko mo nintindihan. 
Pastor Bang, ang sweldo namin, eksakto lang. Hindi kami makapag-ipon. Eh, yung ibon nga, hindi makapag-ipon eh. Pero, araw-araw, lumalabas yan para humanap ng uod. At pagkatapos, pakantakad na pa. Di ba? Sana. Sabi niya, early bird catches the worm. Now, bakit yung worm? Maaga rin na. Hindi. Late umuwi. Kaya nga lasing eh. Gumagapang-gapang. Di ba? <laughs> Kaya yari siya. Nabiktima siya ng, ng ibon. Di ba? Kasi late umuwi. Kaya karamihan sa atin. Kaya sira ang buhay natin. Late umuwi. Kaya gagapang-gapang. Lasing. Kaya sabi ng Lord, alam mo yung gayahin yung ibon. Masisipag sila. Ngayon, sa, sa to lang. Itong amazing sa Diyos. Gustong-gusto niya tayong mag-isip sa mga ginilikha niya. Sabi niya, slow down ka lang. Huwag ka nagmamadali masyado. Panoorin mo yung mga ginawa ng Diyos. Sabi niya ulit ang Diyos. Tingnan niyo ha. Tingnan niyo yung mga, mga langgam. Kayo mga tamad. Sabi niya Hindi kayo ito ha. Basta sinabasa ko lang. Sabi niya, tingnan niyo yung mga yung langgam. Panoorin niyo kanilang mga gawa. Sabi niya, maging matalino kayo. Tingnan niyo, wala silang boss. Wala nagbabantay sa kanila. Pero naghahanda sila ng pagkain nila sa tag-init para ipunin ang kanilang mga pangailangan sa tag-ani. Amazing to. Sabi ko, grobe naman itong mga langgam na ito. Sabi ng Lord. Kaya misan, hindi niyo napapansin ang ibon. Hindi niyo napapansin ang langgam. Basta pag nakita yung langgam, ay dami langgam. Inis pray ang kagad. Diba? Bak, isipin mo na muna. Parang i-enjoy mo naman once in a while. Ibig sabihin lang, hindi ka na nakakapagpahinga. Kaya nga dito ka nakatulog. Ay, sorry. Ah, kaya nakakatulog ka minsan sa mga trabaho. Ganyan, sa pagod. Pero minsan, mag-relax ka naman. Panoorin mo ay langgam. Tinan mo yan, walang amo yan, no? Oh. Ang problema natin, eh. Kapag may nakatingin sa atin, trabaho tayo, bilis. No? Pag wala na, ang baho ni sir. Pinag-uusapan si sir. Diba? Sabi ng Lord, ano ka ba? No, tinan niyo po. Sabi ng Lord, hanggang kailang ka maghihilata? Hoy, tamad. Sabi ganun. Hanggang kailang ka maghihilata? Pwede bang bumangon ka mula sa iyo pagkatulog? Eh, hindi ka. Konting tulog na lang. Konting idlip. Konting pagtiklop ng kamay, sabi ganun, napahinga. Ang kahirapan ay paparoon sa iyo ng parang napakalaming magnanakaw at maninira. Anong pag-isipan niyo mabuti? Friends, listen to this. God wants to bless us, but we need to do our responsibility. Ang, ang action, take heed. Makinig ka sa sinasabi ng Diyos. Paano natin gagawin at malalaman ang pinagagawa ng Diyos kung hindi natin willing alamin ang gusto niya? Kaya nga challenge si Pastor Peter lagi sa akin every year sa atin, sa CCF. Have you read, read the entire Bible? O sino sa inyo nakabasa ng buong Bible? Ilan? O. Oh. Yung iba sa inyo, ilan beses yung na narinig yan kay Pastor Peter? Read the entire Bible. Ilan na? Napakaraming beses. Sa totoo lang, kung ikaw ay matalinong tao and you believe that He is your master, you will think, Lord, kung ikaw master ko, may instruction ka. So Lord, teach me what to do. Kasi ganun din naman ka. ka la, alam niyo po ba? Sabi, eh kasi pag magbabasa ako, wala akong maintindihan, pastor eh. Aaminin ko sa inyo, the first time I read the Bible, just because I love Jesus, hindi ko rin siya maintindihan. Una ko natanggap, ha, kulay blue na Bible. Unang basa ko, And Abraham begat Isaac. Isaac begat Jacob. Jacob begat Judah. Ang bigat naman! <laughs> hindi ko talaga maintindihan. Then I began to be, eventually, eventually, I, nakaroon ako ng talagang pag pagkaunawa ng relationship with Jesus, kaya pagbasa ko sa Bible, nakaluhod ako. Sabi ko, Lord, paunawa mo naman sa akin. Hindi ko talaga maintindihan eh. Eh, King James yun. Sabi ng Lord, wag yan ang basahin mo. Magbasa ka ng ibang translation. Kasi hindi mo maintindihan. O oh, nga naman, kumuha ako ng living Bible. Ay, yun naman pala ang linaw! Anak pala ni Abraham ito. Anak naman talaga. O, oh, di ba? Bigla, pwede naman pala. Kasi minsan, yung mga pastor sa atin nagsasabi, Bible, King James lang. Ano ka ba? Alam nga naman, gusto mo ng totoong original. Hebrew. Marunong ka. Greek. Oh, hindi pala eh. Di intindi mo. Magpasa ka ng Tagalog. Meron nga lumabas kayo. Ang ganda-ganda yung Tagalog, yung New Testament. Sabi nila, na bad trip ang Pharisees kay Jesus. Oh, wow! Ang galing! Sabi ko, ayan, ang galing intindihin, oh! Sabi ko, eh, paano kung mali yan? 
matututo ka rin. You just do it one step at a time. Di ba? Huwag mong bigla, eh, nakailang scholar ka. Hindi naman, hindi ka in-expect ng Diyos maging scholar. In-expect ka lang ng Diyos, Lord, I just want to love you. I just want to do what you want. Because you are my master. So I will just try to understand whatever you allow me to understand. In fact, even if you try, ako ang tagal ko na nababasa, my, more than 100 times, I still don't understand everything written in there. So that's why I keep on asking, Lord, help me, help me. Every time I preach, I, I, I study on my knees and say, God, help me, help me to understand. Kasi hindi ko talaga maintindihan. Ang tanong ko lagi, paano yan sa totoong buhay? Ano ko ninyo? Paano, pa, pa, paano ito sa totoong buhay? Kaya yun ang tanong sa atin, kaya ng Diyos, gawin mo, magising ka, mag, mag, gawin mo dapat mong gawin. Tinan nyo, ang magugoy kasi sa ng Bible. Nagwa-worry ka sa artificial intelligence. Nagwa-worry ka that one day that our work will be taken over by machines. Nagwa-worry ka ba that like, becoming computerized. Now, really listen to this. Ano sabi ng Diyos? Sabi niya, do yourself a favor and learn all you can. Then remember what you learn and you will prosper. Can you imagine even God Himself is telling us, keep on learning, keep on learning? Alam niyo po ba hanggang ngayon, kahit ako personal, Kung meron po akong ano, hinahangal, lagi po akong nag-aaral. Lagi po akong nag-aaral. Lagi po nag-aaral. Bakit? Pinagsasalta. Hirap ako mag-ingles. Hindi ako magaling mag-ingles. Kasi takot ako mag-ingles dahil noon, pag ang tatay ko, dahil speech writer yan, pag nagsalta ako na wali ang grammar, yari ako. Talagang sab- ano, hinahatak ang patilya, hinahat, pinapagalitan. Sabi niya, wala, huwag kang, huwag kang magsasalta ng English kung hindi mo kaya. Kaya nalagay sa utak ko yun. Hindi ako mag-ingles hindi ko alam. Ganyan. Ang sagot ng Diyos, ay sabi ng Lord sa akin, oh, di mag-aral ka. Hanggang ngayon nag-aaral ako. Hindi ko pa rin makuha. But, nag-stop? Hindi. At least I can communicate. Yun na sabi ng Diyos. Just communicate. Kaya nagtonto ako sa Amerika, nakapagsalta ako sa ibang mansa. Nakapag... Hindi ko alam kung naintindihan nila, pero ang one thing I know. At least naintindihan ko sinasabi ko. Nakuha niyo yung sabihin, but keep on learning. Don't ever say, hindi ako marunong. Dahil ang Diyos sabi niya, if you lack wisdom, I will give it to you generously without finding fault. Diba? Kasi ayaw ka niya mag-worry. Sabihin mo lahat ang worries mo. Lord, worry po ako. Hindi ko... Nasa Korea kami ha. Nakikinig kami ganyan. Walang nag english Koreanong salita. Umupo ako, Lord. Sana may maintindihan ako kahit konti. Alam niyo, nagulat ako. Parang naintindihan ko siya sabi niya. Sabi ko, parang naintindihan ko. Tapos magbigay niya ng verse, biglang naintindihan ko. Okay. May naintindihan ako kahit paano. Pag uwi ako, masaya ako. Bakit? Kasi ang Diyos ang author ng language. But if you do us, He is willing to give. Now, ang tanong lang, are you willing to follow? Because if you don't follow, even if you do understand, wala rin. Tingnan niyo po ito. Itong amazing. Balikan natin itong nilagpasan natin kanina. Look at the ways. Then the word of the Lord came to him saying, Arise, go to Zarephath, which belongs to Sidon. Now, ano ba ang sitwasyon? Si Elijah prayed na walang ulan. So there is a great famine in the land. So he stayed in a certain brook. Sabi niya doon, I will feed you with ravens. I will provide you water. Ang problema, natuyo na rin yung water. Naturo na yung brooks. Wala na rin yung, ano, yung raven. Tumigil na sabi niya, but I want you to go to Zarephath, which belong to Sidon. Stay there. Behold, I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. Kaya sumunod ka, punta ka doon. Alam mo ba yung lugar? Sinong widow yan? Yan. Ito na. So he arose and went to Zarephath. He took heed of God's command. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, a widow was there gathering sticks. And he called to her and said, Please get me a little water in a jar that I may drink. Sabi ni Elijah. Sabi niya, as he was going to get it, he called to her and said, Please bring me a piece of bread in your hand. But din din to Elijah. Sabi ng Lord, Oh, papakainin kita, pangkita ng widow. Nung nakita niya yung widow, kuha mo ang tubig. At bigyan mo ang pagkain. Kung sakaling gawin ko yan sa inyo, Ano isipin nyo? Ang kapal ng mukha na ito. Talaga itong mga pastor na ito. Kapal ng apps. Di ba? Kung ano, pero isipin mo itong si, si Elijah, hindi niya inisip yun because he was just following instruction. Tama ba? Sometimes instruction may sound foolish, but if you know that the God, the, the God telling you what to, uh, the God who is telling you to do this, alam mo na yung master mo is not thinking of anything that will make you bad. He's asking you to do something that will be good for you. Tama? Okay ba yun? Now, tuloy tayo. Eto na, nadagdagan. 
As the Lord your God lives, sabi ni babae, I have no bread, only a hand of flour in the bowl and a little oil in the jar. And behold, I am gathering a few sticks that I may go in and prepare for me and my son that we may eat and die. Sabi ni, ano, ni Elijah, do not fear. Huwag ka matakot. Go, do as you have said. Sige, luto ka. But make me a little bread cake from its first. Yung una, bigay muna sa akin. And bring it to me, and afterward, you may make one for yourself and for your son. Sabi niya, I'm telling you, the Lord God of Israel, the bowl of flour shall not be exhausted, nor shall the jar of the oil be empty until the day that the land sends rain on the face of the earth. Hindi ka magugutom, trust me. Hindi ka magugutom at ang iyong anak. So, so he went, she went, and did according to the word of Elijah, and she came and her household ate for many days. Diba? Dapat isang kainan na lang. Many, the, bow, the bowl of flour was not exhausted, nor did the jar of oil become empty according to the word of the Lord which he spoke through Elijah. Ano siya sabi ng Diyos? If you follow my, what I'm telling you to do, I'm telling you, I will do the rest. Alam niyo ba malaking problema natin? We worry on others' responsibility than to focus and be concerned with our responsibility. Yung mga lalaki, sabi ng ng Lord, mahalin mo asawa mo. Hey, hindi, you just submissive. Hindi mo yan problema, wag mong i-worry yan. Ang isipin mo, yung concern mo, mahalin mo siya. Eh, paano kung abusuhin ako? Wag mo yan alalahanin. Ang concern mo, mahalin mo siya. Nakuha niyo po? Wives, submit to your husband. Yan ang concern mo. Eh, mali, mali mga desisyon eh. Hindi mo yan problema. Problema ko yan. Ang sa'yo, ikaw ay mag-submit. Eh, paano kaabusuin ako? Hindi ka abusuin. Kukunin ko naman siya. Huwag ka mag-alala. Pero, you follow me. Di ba? Ganun din sa anak. Honor your parents. Eh, abusado ang tatay ko eh. Hindi mo concern yon. Ang concern mo, you honor your parents. Di ba? Yung mga bata, ang concern ng, ng tatay, do not exasperate, but train them in the ways of the Lord. Kapatid, hindi ako mabuting tatay. Hindi ako mabuting... Ibig sabihin, I'm not a perfect father. I have so many bubus in life. Isa lang alam ko, I will just try to understand and do what is best for my children. Mali-mali ako, kaya nag-aaral ako, kaya nakikinig ako. Noong narinig ko nga si Pastor Peter tungkol sa parenting, ang dami ko na-realize sa pagkakamali. Pero I'm so blessed with my children because God took care of them. Alam mo, minsan nga nag-usap nag, 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 nag kami mag-asawa, sabi ko, bless natin, no, yung mga anak natin, hindi gumigimik, pagdating sa, galing sa eskwelahan, diretso na sa bahay, pagkagaling sa trabaho, iba, diretso sa bahay, hindi sila pupunta ko saan-saan. Yung sabi ko, isang bagay lang alam ko, we prayed, we tried our best as parents, though we're not perfect, and the Lord did the rest. Amen po. Uh, bigyan kita sample. Yung anak ko, for example, Walang makuha ang trabaho. He volunteered as a missionary before. Then ngayon, gusto niya mag-explore sa trabaho. Wala siya makuha ang trabaho. Ano sabi ng Lord? Magsilbi ka lang. So, he obeyed me. Sabi, ng, sabi sa kanya, trabaho ka lang kahit walang sweldo. Six months working without salary. Ngayon, tinanggap na siya maging empleyado. Marami kasi nagre-reklamo agad, walang sweldo, walang sweldo. Ano ba yung kasi trabaho? Walang sweldo, walang sweldo. Magtrabaho ka muna. Huwag mong hanapin anong matatamo mo. Hanapin mo anong may pagkakaloob mo. And you will be surprised on God, how God will bless you. Kasi ang sikreto sa buhay is for you to be a blessing to others first. Amen? Take heed on God's command. Amen? Kaya, listen to this. Whatever you do, do it all with all of your heart. Kayo mga nagtatrabaho, gawin niyo yung buong puso niyo. Kalingan niyo para sa Panginoong Diyos. Huwag yung, hindi, naiingit ka, baka, mas, uy, baka, sip-sip yan. Lagi, siya na lang may po-promote. Relax ka. Promotion does not come from the East nor from the West. It only comes from God. Uy, sumisikat na siya ng gusto. Dapat mababa na yan. Eh, huwag kang magalala doon. Only God can promote anybody. Okay po? Hindi natin concern yun. Ang concern natin, you do what God is telling you to do and God will promote you in His time. Okay po? In His time. Kahit sa sukwela namin noon, grabe, lahat nagkokopyahan, nagkokopyahan. Tapos gusto siya na buying for honor. Forget it. Just do your work. And without bragging or boasting, I praise God. Kami magkaibigan, both of us Christians, when we graduated, we are both honor students. At yung mga trying hard na mandaya, 
sayang. May Diyos na nakakita. He will never forget you. Amen? Now, number two, internalize God's fatherhood. Bakit importante yan? Alam nyo, we know that He is our Father. But sometimes, we fail to really internalize it and experience it and follow God for it. Now, bako makalimutan, naalala ko yung kaibigan ko. Nag-attend siya ng service. Mahirap lang yung kaibigan ko. Wala siyang ano. Tapos yung pera niyang nalalabi, yun ang iniisip niyang pang na lang sana. Tapos sabi ng Lord, Lord, bahala ka na. Sabi ng Lord sa akin, ibigay mo sa akin yan. Sabi ng Lord, you follow me, ibigay mo sa akin yan. Okay, binigay niya. Bigay niya. Pagbigay niya, maniwala ka sa akin. Ang saya-saya niya. Ito, kinig siya sa Diyos. Drive na siya. Hmm. Tapos, pumupugak-pugak na. Malapit na sa kanila. Ako, Panginoon Diyos, pabutin mo ako, pabutin mo ako. Ganyan. Kasi walang pagkas eh. Dumating doon sa kanyang gate, yung sasakyan. Hindi nga nakapasok, pero at least nasa labas na. Saka na matay. Would you believe ngayon? Dahil ang Diyos hindi nakalimot sa kanyang pakikinig sa kanya. Sumunod siya sa Diyos, sa negosyo, sumunod siya sa Diyos. Maniwala ka, ang sasakyan ng kaibigan ko, napakarami. Yung dating pupugak-pugak na piyera na palitan ng Diyos ng, ng Land Cruiser, BMW, di ba? Ah, hindi ko sinasabing gawin nyo yun para magkaroon kay BMW, Land Cruiser. Hindi ko sinabi yun. At sinasabi ko lang, you follow God and you will be surprised on how God will fulfill His promise. Okay? Kaya you internalize. You internalize. Bakit mo internalize? Because if as a father, if you internalize it, you will realize something. That the father provides. That the father protects. That the father pardons. And the father pilots us. He guides us. Kaya pag inisip mo, teka muna, kung siyang tatay ko, then He will guide me. Kung siyang tatay ko, He will provide for me. Kung siyang tatay ko, He is willing to forgive me. Kasi maraming tao, kaya natatakot sila sa Diyos, worried sila, kasi feeling nila, hindi na ako mapapatawad ni God, hindi na nagkamali na ako. You're wrong. Even before you fell, God already knew that you would fall. Eh, ba't niya ako niligtas? Hindi, kasi niligtas ka niya na noon pa. Kaya lang, kailangan mo bumangon ulit. I talk of a brother. Sabi niya, he fell. Pinagkakalat ang kwento niya. And you would be surprised. Nag-usap kami. And sabi niya, sinaalala ng Lord na ako'y anak niya. And sabi sa kanya, bango ka ulit. Andito tayo, magkakapatid tayo. And we will help you. And amazing. Kaya, maraming ginagawa niya. But you have to internalize. And sabi mo, eh, hindi mabuti yung tatay ko. Kaya hindi ko siya ma-imagine. No, kung alam mo hindi mabuti, then alam mo kung ano yung mabuti. Tama? Paano na lamang hindi mabuti tatay mo kung hindi mo alam ang mabuti? Oh, kung alam mo yung mabuti, then imagine this, yung mabuti na iisip mo, masigit pa ang Diyos dyan. Kaya sabi ng Lord, look at the birds in the sky. They do not so reap. They gather nothing into barns. Yet, your heavenly Father feeds them. Are not you more important than they? Ano si sabi ng Diyos? Itong amazing pag-isip mo sa tatay mo. Yung tatay mo, na, di ba na, nakakita na ba kayo ng tatay na may paboritong anak? Ha? Huh? Minsan ang aking get, hmm, paborito naman talaga siya. Talagang nakakaib siya, sisip yan. Paborito siya ng tatay. Now, ano sabi ng Lord? Sa lahat na nilikha ng Diyos, ikaw ang paborito niya. Nabasa niyo na bang si John, the disciple? He never mentioned his name sa kanyang writings. And sabi niya, the disciple whom Jesus loved. Sino tinutukoy niya? Sarili niya. Sino nagsulat? Siya. Oh, nabasin niyo ba yun? Sabi niya, the disciple whom Jesus loved. Bakit ganun siya? He's so confident of the love of Jesus. Minsan, di tayo ganun ka-confident eh. Kaya you have to internalize. Alam mo, ang paborito ka ni God. Tingnan mo, sabi ng Lord. Are not five sparrows sold for two cents? Limang ibon na Two cents. Yet, not one of them is forgotten before God. Indeed, the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Grabe naman. Do not fear. You are more valuable than many sparrows. Ano siya sabi ng Diyos? Alam mo ba na sobrang valuable ka sa Diyos, e mas importante ka pa sa mga sparrows na yan. Two cents lang yan. Pero yung sparrows na yan, hindi pinababayaan ni God. Di lalo ka na. Yan ang sasabi ng Diyos eh. Di ba? Alam mo gano'ng ka-importante? Pati buhok bilang niya. Sabi mo, eh, buti lang ako sa inyo. Kalbo kayo. Madali mo sabihin yan. Mali ka. Tinitigan ko yung noo ko sa bilang kalbo. Mas mahirap bilangin ang buhok. Hindi makita, pero mendo doon. And sabi ng Lord, yung concern mo, concern ko din. Kaya bilang ko yan. You are more valuable than sparrows. Kaya sabi ng Lord, 
we should have the first place among all His creature, creatures. Ano sabi ng Diyos? Sa lahat ng nilikha, ikaw ang pinaka-importante. Can any of you, by worrying, add a single moment to your lifespan? Now listen to this. Now suppose one of your father is asked by his son for a fish, he will not give him a snake instead of a fish, will he? Or if he asks for an egg, he will not give him a scorpion, will he? Look at the words. Sabi niya, if you then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to those who asked him? Now listen to this. Lord, bigyan mo naman ako ng asawa. Ang sakit ng Lord, hindi lang kita bibigyan ng asawa. Sasama pa ako sa kasal mo. Huwag na, Lord! Hindi. Kasi isipin mo, akala mo ang oyos ng babae yan, tahimik. Kung kumain, talaga nakapalda pa. Okay. Pag-asawa mo na yan, bigla na yung nakaganyan. Ang tao niyan, kain ng kain. At ang daldal, hindi mo kakayanin. Kaya nandun ako para turuan ka kung paano. Hello? Kasi pinsan hihingi ka isang libo, kasi kung bibigyan ka lang ng Diyos sa isang libo, mamaya kapusing ka. Ang sabi ng Lord, hindi lang kita bibigyan ng isang libo, sasamahan kita anak. Kaya sabi niya, I will give you the Holy Spirit. My very presence will be with you. Yan ang pangako ng Diyos. Ganyan ang tatay natin. Amen po? Kasi yan ang tatay natin. Sabi niya, hindi kita pababayang. Kaya nga, tuwan-tuwa ako dun sa ano eh. Yung kantang ano, ewan ko kung narinig nyo na itong kanta. Alam ko narinig nyo na ito, kaya lang uh, magandang maalala yung kanta. Sabi rito, uh, Our Father knows what's best for us. His ways are not our own. So when your pathway grows dim and you just don't see Him, remember you're never alone. Di ba? Sarap isipin na, no? Parang, wow, yung tatay ko, he knows what's best for me. God is too wise to be mistaken. Di siya nagkakamali. God is too good to be unkind. And when you don't understand, when you don't see His plan, when you can't raise His hand, trust His heart. Di ba? Hindi mo makita pero yung heart ng Diyos is always for you. Naintindihan niyo po? It's always for you. Kaya talaga makakapagpahinga kang talaga makakarelax ka eh. Kasi yung tatay ko, he knows what's best for me. And tinan niyo, sobra, he sees the master plan and he holds our future in his hands. Dalawang araw naman kinakalimutan, lagi natin inaalala eh. Nakaraan, future, Tama? Nakaraan, mga maling mga pagkakamali natin. Alam ko yun, alam ko yun, anak, sabi niya. In future, alam ko rin yun, anak. But I'm holding the master plan. Lord, nagkamali ako ng galaw eh. Huwag ka magalala, parang chess yan. Nagkamali, tinulungan ka ng demonyo, eh, ano, ng demonyo na move, huwag ka magalala. Mas marami akong move na alam. Mati-checkmate natin yan. Hindi siya mananalo. O, tuloy pa natin, sabi niya. So don't leave us, so don't leave us those who have no hope. All our hope is found in Him. Amen? God is too wise to be mistaken. Hindi siya nagkamali. Minsan naisip mo pa, Lord, talaga ba ako pinili mo? Hindi ako nagkamali, anak. I know you. Lord, dahil ko kumapakan. I know. But I have not committed mistaken. I know exactly what I did and what I chose to do. Listen to this. Internalize my fatherhood. If you're suffering, if you have a problem, pray. I am just one prayer away. Just tell me. I'm there for you. Kasama mo ako. Just ask. I'm there for you. Internalize His fatherhood. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget none of His benefits. Who pardons all your iniquities. Ano worry? Wrong mis- uh, mga mistakes. Who heals all sins. Who heals all your diseases. Naku, baka sinusumpaan ako Lord kaya marami ako sakit. Sabi ni Lord, hindi, magagaling ka niya. Sabi niya, who redeems your life from the pit. Sad-sad ka na who crowns you with loving kindness and compassion, who satisfies your years with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. Bakit? Just as a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. So, negate doubts on his promises. Kung tatay mo siya, nangako siya sa'yo, and he's able to do beyond what you ask, think, or even imagine, ano si sabi ng Diyos? You can trust my promises. 
Kaya don't ever judge your situation based on what you see. Trust and judge your situation based on what God has promised. Okay ba yan? Now, para maintindihan nyo, there was a time, di sabi ng Lord, I will expand your horizon. Di ko maintindihan. Dahil tinanggal ako sa trabaho. So, it's entirely different from what He promised. Pero sabi ng Lord, wag kang mag-worry, just trust my promise. Amen po? Alam nyo ba, let me just tell you this, baka makalimutan nyo, sometimes God allows things to become, to become worse before it finally becomes better. Hello? Hello? Just hold on to His promise. Kasi sabi ng Lord, why are you anxious about clothes? Learn from the way the wild flowers grow. They do not work or spin. Sabi niya, but I tell you that not even Solomon with all of his riches, with all of his ano, money, with all of his wisdom, sabi niya, in all his splendor, was never been clothed like one of them. Ano one of them? Yung lilies. Tinan mo naman ganda ng lilies na yan. Damo ba yan? Masasayang man damo yan? Ang ganda, no? Ano sabi ng Lord? If God so clothes the grass of the field which grows today and is thrown into the oven tomorrow, will He not much more provide for you, O you of little faith? Ang sasabi ng Diyos, you need to trust. Don't doubt. You need to trust me. Kasi nga, ang Diyos, ang ginagawa niya yung promise niya. Kaya ang sasabi ng Diyos, every time you feel afraid, every time you feel worried, every time you feel na parang hindi mo alam gagawin mo, then listen, Remind yourself of His promises. When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. In God whose world I praise, I will put my trust in you. It is a decision to make. Lord, I will hold on to your promise. In God I have put my trust. I shall not be afraid. What can mere man do to me? Look at His promises. Grabe ang Diyos. Sabi ng Lord, wala kang dapat alalahanin because if you fear the Lord, you His saints. For to those who fear Him, there is no want. No wonder. Sabi niya, taste and see that the Lord is good. Sino naniniwala that Jesus died for you to give you eternity? Pakita sa kamay. Good. If you can trust God for your eternity, then how can you not trust Him for your daily needs? Pag-isipan niyo. Eternity? Mas patindi yun. Kaya sabi ng Bible, tinan niyo. Sabi niya, He did not spare His own Son, but delivered Him over us all, how will that also with Him freely give us all things? Kung yung eternity nga, yung worst issue mo ng problema, yung sin, dinil ng Diyos, di lalo na yung pang-araw-araw mong needs. Ito ang promise ni God, just to give you one of the promises. And my God may supply. Gano ba? Ano na? I will, will supply some of your needs. Ha? All, all. Kasama yung pustiso? Yes. Kung kailangan mo. Kasama ang pang-opera ng katarak? Yes. Kung kailangan mo. Kasama ang panggamot sa arthritis? Yes. Kung kailangan mo. Nakuha ninyo? Ganun ba? Kasama ang pang ng eyebrow? Kung kailangan mo. Kasama yung Lord all eh. Basta kailangan mo. Not your greed. Di ba? Kaya you have to trust God's promises. Ang problema, hindi natin alam promises ng Diyos eh. Oh, ano sabi niya? According to His riches. Now, alam niyo ba sa Tagalog yan? Ayon sa di mausop na, maubos na yaman ng Diyos. Grabe no? Hindi maubos. Pero listen to this. This promise is not for everybody. Baka magkamali kayo. In glory, in Christ Jesus. You reject His Son, this promise is not for you. Only for those who belong to Jesus, who belong to the family of God. Pakisabi mo sa katabi mo, are you sure that you're part of the family of God? Because this promise is not for everybody. Now, finally, ang sagot ng Lord, know God's kingdom priorities. Sabi ng Lord, since I am your master, you need to understand my priorities para hindi ka mag-worry. Ano yon? So do not worry and say, what are we eat? That's not your priority. What we are to drink? That's not your priority. What are we to wear? That's not your priority. Because all of this, these are the priorities of those who do not know God. Ha? Huh? Paano ko nalaman? All these things, the pagans, those who do not know the Lord, seek your, he- seek. your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. 
Ang sinasabi ng Diyos, ang priority ng tao na hindi kilala ang Diyos, lagi ano kakainin, ano susuotin. Parang sobrang concern sa food, sa fashion, concern sa, sa fitness, sa finances, sa future. Yan ang laging concern ng mga tao, ano, walang kilalang Diyos. Kaya minsan, kahit na Christian na tayo, para tayong walang kilalang Diyos. Kasi sobra tayong concern doon. Yun ang inuuna natin, hindi yung inuuna yung plano ng Diyos. Kasi sabi ng Bible, but, 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 seek first the kingdom of God. His righteousness and all these things will be given you. Besides, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for a day, its own even. Ano siya sabi ng Diyos? Just learn to walk one step at a time. Bakit? You walk with me. Naalala niyo kahit sa prayer, give us this day our daily bread. You just walk with me. I'll take care of your needs. Believe you me. Tingnan niyo ha. Yung mga winori natin dati, Ano na nangyari? Wala naman, di ba? Yung iba nagwa-worry pag namatay ang tatay. Ako, nung bago mamatay ang tatay, inisip ko, paano na kami? Anong paano na kayo? May tatay ka? Hindi naman kita pinabayaan na. Ah. Oo nga po. Di ba? Yung iba nagwa-worry, paano na ang pag-aaral namin? Oo, nakatapos ka na. Ako nung nanganak yung asawa ko ng kambal, iyak ako! Lord, paano ito ka pala ito? Ano ba mabuhay ito? Ngayon, tapos na sila. Yung isa, gusto pa mag-aral, wag do-doktor. Na naman! But God promised He will take of her. Tama? Take care of her. Tama ba? Hindi mo dapat alalahanin. Yung anak ko, sabi ng doktor, hindi makakatapos yan. Dahil pag hindi mo dinala sa isang skwelahan na pang ganyan, kanya, ano nangyari? Computer engineer na. May worry? Say, God knows what's best. But you have to seek God first. His righteousness, His righteousness, His kingdom, His rulership. Pag sinabi mong kingdom, ibig sabihin, yung paghahari niya. Lord, ano yung gusto mo? Yung paghahari niya sa buhay natin. Yung gusto mo, i-advance din yung paghahari niya para sa ibang tao because so many people, they do not even know the rulership of God. So yun ang priority ng Diyos. Okay po? Ano sa ng Lord? I will provide you everything that you need. You just follow my direction. Hindi ko po makalimutan, when God called me to the ministry, that was my personal, first, prime, my primary concern. Sabi ko kay God, God, paano nang buhay namin? Paano na po yung magiging pamilya ko? Paano po? Anong sagot ang Diyos? Hindi mo yan problema. Ang problema mo, you follow me. Lord, hindi ako marunong magsalta. Hindi mo yan problema. You follow me. Lord, hindi ako marunong mag-ingles. You follow me. Lord, hindi ako marunong mag-preach. You follow me. Naintindihan natin. You follow me. If I am your master, I am your king, you follow me. Understand my priorities. Know God's kingdom priorities. Now, let's continue. Sabi ng Lord, remember this, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they who seek the Lord shall not be in want of any good thing. So, let me end. Meron po isang lalaki, nagtatrabaho siya noon during the Great Depression, as he was working sa isang company, sa isang grocery, inutusan siya, kumbaga, ito, nest, eh, kape na mamahalin, like Arabica, tapos yung Robusta, na medyo lower quality coffee, pinagahalo nila at the price of the first class coffee, Arabica. So, isipin mo, nandadaya. So, the boy was so excited. Sabi niya, Daddy, Daddy, isipin mo itong, ano, yung boss ko, Daddy, ang talino. Oh, biro, biro. Dinadaya niya, inaalo niya yung low-quality coffee at saka so high-grade coffee. Tapos ang presyo, high-grade coffee. Ang laki ng kita namin, pa, Daddy. Sabi ng Daddy niya, Anak, do unto others what you want to be done unto you. Mali yan, anak. Huwag mong gagayahin yan. You follow God's righteousness. Yung righteousness, it's not based on what people see, it's based on what God sees. Tama? So you follow my instruction. Sabi niya, you follow God's instruction, you follow God's promise, and He will take care of you. And true enough, this guy became millionaire and started his own department store. Anong klaseng department store? Ano, golden rule department store. Do unto others what you want to be done unto you. Kanya lang, kahit na sumusunod siya sa Diyos, nagkaroon siya ng pagkakamaling desisyon. Yung desisyon na hindi niya nasangguni ang Diyos, he made a great ano, bubo in his decision. Taka, palpak! Di nagka, nagka-worry-worry. Kasi pag di ka sumunod sa Diyos, talagang minsan nagkaka-worry-worry. E di, nagkasakit, nagkasingis, naka, nagpadoktor, hindi makatulog. Yan, buti pa nga kayo. Ingay-ingay ko, tulog ka. Pero yun, kahit uminom na ng gamot, nagigising pa rin. 
So, one time, nung nakainom siyang gamot, nakatulog, nasa gising pa rin. Pero nagising siya, may narinig siyang awitin. At yung awitin, parang nanggagaling sa kapilya. So, he decided to go to that ka, ano, chapel para pakinggan niya, ano pa itong kinakanta nila? And alam niyo kung ano yung narinig niya? Pakinggan natin. No? Sabi niya, nung narinig niya yung God will take care of you, bigla siyang pak. For some reason, nagpapunta sa doktor, wala na yung sakit niya, gumaling siya. Why? Because it's something philosophical that He is my master, I need to trust my God because not trusting Him is telling Him you are not a true God. Nakuha niyo po. Hello? And God who is real, will truly take care of me. Mga kapatid, listen to this. When Jesus said, when, when the storm comes, don't be surprised, storms are coming. But if you do not listen to Jesus and really see Him as your master, I'm telling you that worry will creep into your heart and will destroy you emotionally, physically, mentally, and even destroy the people around you. But God is saying, I am here for you. You just listen to me. If I am truly your master, do not worry. Do not even allow when it begins to come in to worry. Kasi sabi ng Lord, paano mo gagawin yan? Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that He may exalt you at the proper time. And look at the words. Casting all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. Tayo pong lahat ay yung Thank you, Jesus. Habang tayong lahat ay nakayuko at nakapikit, mga kapatid, alam niyo po bang worrying is an insult to God? Kaya sabi ng Lord, if I am your master, you love me, you are to hate the things of this world. You have to hate the pride of life, you are to hate the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye. Minsan nababawang ka sa utang just because of those worldly wealth that you are pursuing. But God is saying, Anak, if I am your master, you surrender yourself to me. Do not worry. Take heed to my commands. And I'm telling you, you will never regret it. And so, I mean, Lord, internalize that I am your father. I am true to my words that I will provide for you. I will, I will protect you. I will guide you. And I will even pardon you because I am your Father who cares for you. And just remember this. Do negate all your doubts with all my promises. If I promised you that I will take care of you, I will take care of you. If I promise I will supply all your needs, I will supply your needs. I don't want you to feel worried. I don't want you to be worried. I want you to live a life with peace so that people would know that you are my disciple because you are so in love with me and I will give you peace that the world cannot give. It's a peace that only I, your Lord, can give. Anong sagot ng Lord? But seek my priorities. Know what is my, though my priorities. I don't want, I don't want to be prominent in your life. I don't want to be a priority in your life. I want to be preeminent in your life. I want you to put me as the D priority. Ako ang una. Kaya kapatid, in every decision you make, you put God first and follow His righteousness. Not trying to impress people with your righteousness, but you do it because you love God. And I promise you, I will take care of you. Ang tanong, is He really your master? 
Do you really belong to His family that you can say that He is your Father? Thank you, Jesus. If not, you may come to Him now and say, Lord Jesus, forgive me. Take control of me. I accept you as my Lord, as my Master, as my Savior. And thank you that you died for me and you rose again from the dead. So, Lord Jesus, take over me. If you have dealt with my eternal issues, my eternal, with my problem for eternity, if you have dealt with it, Lord, I thank you that you can deal with my daily issues, daily concerns, daily worries. Thank you, Lord, that I can trust you. For you are true to your words, and you love us as you have said, as you have promised. Thank you, Lord. I claim, we claim your words and we follow you. And I pray for the rest of us here, Father. I pray to allow us not to be a, Lord, a, a wrong testimony to the world. Allow us, Father God, to tell the world that you are real, that we are always confident that no matter what happens, it may not look good for the moment, but we know that everything will work for good for those who love you. And we thank you that you always have the last winning move. And we thank you, God, that we are on your side. We love you, Lord. We love you. We praise you. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.